They may not have been leads, but these are still some of the most compelling women in all of fiction. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 supporting female characters in fantasy and science fiction movies. There is no warmth left in the sun. It grows so cold. For this list, we're focusing specifically on female characters that may have played a big part in fantasy and sci-fi productions, but didn't quite lead the narrative. As soon as Arthur's music kicks in, just use the defibrillator to revive him. We can give him his, his own kick down below. With that said, a leading female character like Sarah Connor has been excluded, as she was the driving force behind Terminator 2 Judgment Day. <laughs> Number 10. Eowyn, the Lord of the Rings franchise. I will kill you if you touch him. Although she first appears in The Two Towers, this unexpected female warrior plays a pivotal role in the Lord of the Rings franchise, and specifically in the Battle of Penelor Fields. As the niece of King Theoden of Rohan, Eowyn lives a comfortable life. Yet through free will alone, she is forcibly assertive and always looks for an opportunity to prove herself. I am no man. The movie character may differ slightly from the book character, but Eowyn's brilliant strategy and contributions to the battle in The Return of the King provide for one of the more iconic moments of the trilogy. She's a female character that refuses to abide by societal norms, which ultimately leads all who underestimate her to finally see her worth. Number 9. Jeanette Vasquez, Aliens Let's rock! As the smart gunner of the USS Sulaco, this strong female presence brings much needed levity to the Hadley's Hope terraforming operation. Look man, I only need to know one thing, where they are. Joe Vasquez, kick ass. Anytime, anywhere. Initially skeptical of the traumatized Ellen Ripley, Jeanette Vasquez eventually fights bravely alongside her once they locate the Xenomorphs. While some would struggle in such circumstances, Vasquez keeps her cool. Well, she shoots up some aliens anyway, leading to a final act that further establishes her legacy. Aside from Vasquez, the Alien franchise has given us many formidable ladies, like Nostromo navigator Joan Lambert, another woman who made a statement on personal identity. But it's Vasquez that's a tough Marine who keeps the courage of her convictions no matter what happens. Hey Vasquez, have you ever been mistaken for a man? No. Have you? <laughs> oh, Vasquez. Ow. Number 8. Maria, Metropolis. <laughs> In Fritz Lang's influential dystopian film, the character Maria finds herself at the heart of a metropolis meltdown. Living in a bleak society where she is but a humble worker, Maria is able to maintain some optimism, predicting that someone will ultimately save Metropolis by bringing together its divided social classes. Then Robot Maria shows up and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Maria the Robot is a symbolic figure, representing the Frankenstein complex, an expression conceived by Isaac Asimov to describe the discomfort and skepticism humans harbor towards artificial life. But more than that, she also embodies class struggles and oppression, themes that remain relevant even today. Number 7. Murphy Murph Cooper, Interstellar. I count the spaces. What? in case the ghost is trying to communicate. With an inquisitive NASA pilot for a father, this woman's life has been a curious one. I've figured out the message. One word. You know what it is? Stay. As the narrative of Interstellar unfolds, Murph Cooper grows from a precocious and intelligent child into a headstrong woman, acting as the epitome of perseverance along the way. She even manages to keep her life together after her father literally drifts away while working with another determined woman, Dr. Amelia Brandt. Love is the one thing we're capable of perceiving that transcends dimensions of time and space. Despite being separated in time and space, Murph connects with the ideals she learned from her father and manages to find a higher truth. You once told me that when you came back we might be the same age. And today I'm the age you were when you left. She's a relatable character, at least in terms of raw emotion, but her life experiences are truly extraordinary. If there's an answer here on Earth, it's back there. Somehow in that room. Number six, Samantha, her. Like, are these feelings even real? 
She's not a girl and not quite a woman. In fact, this female character is actually a futuristic operating system. Even if she's not human, however, Samantha understands how to relate to people, especially writer Theodore Twombly. Hello, I'm here. Oh. Hi. Hi. She may not be able to provide any physical love in the traditional sense, but Samantha manages to build a unique bond with her male acquaintance, thus allowing him to view the world through a unique lens, although their relationship still seems a bit unorthodox. I'm different from you. This doesn't make me love you any less. It actually makes me love you more. As a character, Samantha's hyperintelligence is only a part of the identity she creates for herself. But it does help support the film's narrative and leads viewers to consider the concept of relationships in the not-so-distant future. The past is just a story we tell ourselves. Number 5. Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow, Marvel Cinematic Universe. You're a fired. That's not up to you. While Scarlett Johansson's voice can be directly connected to our previous entry, here she embodies a character that plays by a different set of rules. Originally appearing in Iron Man 2, Natasha Romanoff shows off her manipulation skills by fooling Tony Stark with her assumed S.H.I.E.L.D. identity, later joining the Avengers team to help fend off Loki. Okay, turn, turn, turn. On a team with the best battlers in the biz, Black Widow doesn't let the fact that she's not superhuman or a god slow her down. Shall we play a game? Using her incredible training and tenacity to more than keep up with the gang. That speaks volumes about the efficiency of Black Widow, a dominating presence in the Marvel Universe. Relax, Shawhead. Not all of us can fly. Number 4. Trinity, The Matrix Franchise Dodge this. Dressed in all black and talented beyond belief, this woman is the shining light in Neo's life. They need you. I need you. The Matrix trilogy draws from many religious and philosophical sources, so with a name like Trinity, it shouldn't come as a surprise that she plays a crucial role. For one, she's a legendary hacker, which makes her a valuable friend to have. Trinity can also flat out fight, dropping the double eagle on her foes. <laughs> Yet despite her severe fighting tactics, she's also capable of tenderness, especially with Neo, showing time and time again that these two are meant to be together. You can't be dead. You can't be. Because I love you. If Neo ever needs help, she's there, consistently proving herself as the defining female character in The Matrix. If you tell me we'll make it, I'll believe you. I'll we'll make it. Number 3. Ava, Ex Machina. Do you have a name? Yes. Ava. An effort to create the world's first artificially intelligent life form, this woman represents an actual possible future for humankind. How do I look? You look... good. Beautiful, smart, and seemingly as innocent as a child, Ava is poised to challenge mankind's very notion of humanity and the value of life. What's he gonna do to me? He's gonna reprogram your AI, which is the same as killing you. In truth, this story touches on ideas already set forth in Metropolis with the robot Maria. But in this case, Ava, despite her heightened intelligence and conversational skills, is still seen by her creator as a work in progress, and as a result is placed under heavy isolation and scrutiny. It's strange to have made something that hates you. Ultimately, she forces both the characters in the film and the audience to see the world from a different viewpoint. And despite her robotic exterior, makes it impossible to see her as anything less than human. It's not up to me. Why is it up to anyone? Number 2. Hermione Granger, Harry Potter Franchise Oh, are you doing magic? Let's see them. Educated, practical, and resourceful as anyone, this muggle-born witch is a mainstay throughout the entire Harry Potter series. It's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. Of course, we must also give a shout-out to Minerva McGonagall, whose warm presence yet no-nonsense attitude gave the franchise yet another strong female presence. Hogwarts is threatened! Man the boundaries, protect us, do your duty to our school. But Hermione's development as a character and importance to the overall story sets her apart. Throughout the franchise, Ms. Granger magically and beautifully evolves into a modern, self-confident woman. <laughs> she does run into a few roadblocks along the way, but by relying on her natural abilities and demonstrating a readiness to solve problems efficiently, Hermione sets a strong example for young women everywhere. I've got something, but it's Mad. Oh, and never underestimate her. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The whole country loves your sister. They tortured her or did anything to her. Forget the districts. There would be riots in the damn capital. The egg hatched. And? 
and a hundred baby spiders came out. And they ate her. You're here. They didn't hurt you, did they? Were you scared? The quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray but a little and it will fail to the ruin of all. Get out of my head, Charles! Raven, please do not make us the enemy today. Look around you, we already are. Number one, Princess Leia, Star Wars franchise. Governor Tarkin, I should have expected to find you holding Vader's leash. Star Wars has had an immeasurable impact on both cinema and pop culture as a whole, and this feisty gal was instrumental in the franchise's rise. Why, you stuck-up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder! A fiery female character like Rey brought new life to the franchise in 2015, but it was Princess Leia who ignited the flame in the late 70s. Will somebody get this big walking carpet out of my way? Her role within the films not only moved the series forward, but also showed a different type of female character, who didn't stand back and accept her perceived role as a frightened woman living among hardened men and other life forms. Somehow, I've always known. Princess Leia accomplishes her goals by actively engaging with her enemies and showing no fear. With each passing film, her legend continues to grow, as she embodies the ideals fans have admired since day one. You know, no matter how much we fought, I've always hated watching you leave. Do you agree with our list? There's worse ways to go. Who is your favorite supporting female character in a fantasy or science fiction film? Yeah, well, I got unlucky. Let's do this! For more mind-blowing top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Let's move out. Come on, let's go.